My name is Fan Ye. I'm an assistant professor in the ECE department of Stony Brook University. Smart objects are actually everyday, normal, mundane physical objects. Uh, for example, lights, desks, chairs, the window blinds, your water irrigation system, the water uh, sprinkler uh, you have at home, or your garage door. Essentially, everyday, normal object that you see and use uh, every day. Uh, the idea of smart object is to embed computing, communication, sensing, and uh, sometimes storage resources into these normal everyday objects to make them smart in the sense that they will be uh, interconnected and you will be able to interact with them and control their uh, operation. So in the next decade, it is expected that uh, 20 to 50 billions of these so-called smart objects or Internet of Things will be embedded uh, really pervasively into our surrounding environment everywhere to make our homes, make our offices, make our uh, infrastructure like airports, um, road networks, all these uh, things smart to give us new services and functionalities that we're not able to uh, imagine today. There are three great challenges in a smart environment. The first is uh, flexible and fine-grained access control. Most of the smart home products available on the market today offer black or white access. Either you have everything or you don't have uh, anything. It's very difficult to grant temporary access. For example, um, give a UPS driver a one-time access to open your garage door, just uh, one foot and 10 seconds so he can slip in package. Uh, that's currently impossible uh, in any of these industry products. The second challenge is uh, formal performance guarantees. So imagine a situation many people in a really hot uh, conference room is a attending a lecture. Uh, many of them try to decrease AC temperature. If all of these commands succeed, that would lead to a freezing cold target temperature. Right now there's nothing no mechanism prevent that from happening. And the third challenge is actually uh, to help IT administrators that need to manage thousands of these small objects on a daily basis. It's impossible for them to tweak these individual objects one by one. Um, that's just uh, way too much overhead. So we need methods and the tools that can help them manipulate and control these objects on a group basis at the same time ensure the robustness and the performance of the outcome. Those are very um, critical challenges if we really want a smart environment and my team is currently developing solutions to address those challenges. We're going to embed um, secure and fine-grained access as a first-class citizen in a new hardware software architecture to uh, provide flexible access control. We are also trying to define what are the formal semantics of different performance guarantee properties and create mechanisms to support them. Uh, we are also developing tools that will help IT administrators to manage and manipulate large numbers of these smart objects uh, in a very easy way. So hopefully by the time that we solve these challenges, um, we would be able to create a foundation so that people can develop really novel applications and services for a smart uh, environment that everyone can enjoy.